And uh, the starting time is coming. Can I start my session? Right. Uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, my name is Hirotaka Motai. Uh, it's the last session before lunch. So uh, this session will be finished for roughly uh, 20 minutes or uh, so. So this session is, you can see, uh, automated runtime regression testing with Fuego. Uh, do you know Fuego? How many people use it? Oh, so few. So, OK. Uh, in this session, I'd like to uh, cover to point of main point mainly. I'm uh, hoping to give you an overview of Fuego and uh, one related uh, project. Uh, second, I and I hoping to share my ideas for some kind of our issue in a performance point of view. So here is a basic outline of what I want to talk about today. First, I'm going to introduce myself. Uh, secondly, I'm talking about an overview of this issue. After that, I'm going to uh, more I move on to first main topic of this session. Introduce my uh, unrelated, uh, sorry, introduce related tools, and then I will show you the, the other main topics that is our issue and approach. And finally, I will uh, conclude this session, and we will have time for questions. So I'm just to introduce myself. Um, I'm Hirotaka Motai, uh, work for Mitsubishi Electric Corporation. And I'm a software researcher for embedded system. Our, our group provides Linux, hypervisor, and related technologies for uh, consumer electric devices. And it's me, uh, our product. Uh, my research focuses on real-time systems, performance tuning, and automated testing. Uh, we've started to join the Linux Foundation project like LTSI, AGL, and uh, Fuego uh, since 2015. Uh, here is an overview of this session. Uh, recently, Linux can be adapted to various embedded devices, such as uh, television, an application system, a mobile home, uh, some kind of industrial control rights, and so on. Even though, especially uh, industrial control and uh, uh, need hard real-time response, in other words, uh, in another word, uh, predictable latency. We need uh, tons of time to endure, uh, endure educated real-time performance because uh, real-time application need to satisfy timing constraints and they should avoid kernel changes which might cause long delays. Uh, last year, I made a presentation in Embedded Linux Conference Europe uh, that is related with detecting some performance issue, which using automated testing framework, Fuego. Uh, in Fuego test framework, it's easier to measure a process switch latency. And my approach is to add getting trace, uh, tracing at the same test time to get crews to distinguish, distinguish the problem if our changes caused some kind of delay. If you want to know the detail, uh, please check my slide on uh, in next week or ask me after this session. So today, I I'd like to uh, do my presentation. Uh, is uh, runtime uh, it's about runtime robot runtime sorry runtime robots so it's uh, uh, 
I've developed runtime loggers for uh, some system call test in LTP. Uh, the reason why I've created is to get crews to detect internal performance problems. If every result of LTP Linux test project say pass, uh, embedded, device, embedded Linux might have some problems in a, a performance point of view. And that is the reason why I developed the runtime logo. So I'm going to introduce two related projects, Fuego and LTP. Uh, Fuego is an automated testing system specifically designed it for embedded Linux testing. The other is LTP, Linux test project, maintains regression and conformance test designed it to uh, conform the behavior of the Linux kernel and GLBC. As I mentioned before, uh, Lin Fuego is an automatic testing system for embedded Linux. Uh, there are a lot of open source suite, uh, test suites and test frameworks. Fuego is one of them. Uh, we have three reasons why we use the Fuego. First is that Fuego is being created by LTSI projects based on Jenkins. If you have experience of Jenkins, you could be easy to use the Fuego and you also could customize it to make your pipeline uh, such as uh, getting source code, uh, compiling, uh, deploying, and et cetera. Uh, second reason is that Fuego is open source software, so anyone can use it, and anyone can contribute it. So additionally, uh, automotive-grade Linux project chose uh, Fuego as a standard test environment called AGLJTA. So Fuego is a kind of uh, her first test distribution plus a bunch of host scripts and test packaged along with a Jenkins interface, sorry, Jenkins interface or inside a Docker container. Uh, Fuego has a built system due to an architecture neutral and inherently cross-platform. Each test program uh, built from source code, and Fuego also has script for test orchestration, result passing, and analysis for the test records. Fuego can carry out specific tests automatically that is kicked by software update. Uh, there is a screenshot of Jenkins. Uh, you can see a part of test in Fuego. Uh, actually, Fuego has, uh, you can see two lines of uh, test items, but uh, actually Fuego has about uh, 150 different test suites now. And some of them are not Fuego specific tests, uh, but most of them are wrapped existing tests like uh, Drystone, uh, Boni, Hackbench, and so on. Uh, Fuego has uh, wrappers for building, developing, running, and correcting the results for each test. And it also has a parser, so whatever the test has wired output format that can correct information and put it in, put it in a standardized output format. A web control interface for stand, starting tests, uh, monitoring, and checking their result is doing virtualization on it. And you can also check the re test results on web interface. 
like that. Uh, Fig has two categories, test, uh, functional test, and benchmark test. Uh, functional test means that the, the test results can be judged by a return value of the test program. The test program finished successfully, it's passed. The other words, fail. The Fuego has 102 test suites as functional tests like that. Here. Oh, sorry. Like, like that. And the other category is benchmark test. Uh, it means the, the, the test results can be judged by compression return value with threshold. The test program measures some performance in your target system. If the value, if the performance value is lesser or higher than threshold we expected, the result is passed. So Fuego has uh, 40, roughly 40 test suites as benchmark test uh, like that. Dry stone, ion paint, ozone, and so on. Uh, so next related to is LTP. Uh, the Linux test project is a huge collection of tests for Linux, especially regression tests and conformance tests designed to confirm the behavior of the Linux kernel and GBC. We can look at the overall number of the test case. Uh, LTP contains about 1,000 system core test case about, and one, about 1,600 POSIX conformance tests and uh, real-time test suites, various I.O. test, stress test, and network-related test case. So LTP has a lot of test case. It's a bit hard to understand test results because a Linux kernel or your system is customizable and makes some future enable or disable. So tester had, has to know the configuration of their target system and the detail of test case. And tester have to judge the result uh, fail is correct in this uh, condition. So it, it's, it's a bit hard. So anyway, in a point of view of regression, uh, regression checking, tester needs to check the gaps between previous and current result. So Fuego has Fuego also has two categories related to LTP. One is functional LTP. It's an execution of LTP scenarios. The other is functional LTP one test. It's only one LTP test that you can define with uh, using LTP test suites. For, for example, uh, read system call only, or some kind of uh, system core only, or, and so on. So uh, let's move on to next main topics. My uh, issue and approach. Uh, in my opinion, it's important to focus on checking, uh, checking regression of system core interface in terms of view about not only right or uh, correct or wrong, uh, but also performance. Because if the execution time of system call increase, it will influence overall performance of real-time process directory. As I mentioned before, uh, LTP can test 
system Cisco interface, and Fuego is easy to do LTP on your target system. Uh, so uh, this is a sample of uh, the LTP test result on Fuego. You can see it, all right? Uh, you can see a couple of results. Uh, the number of paths of two results is the same as first one here and here. The number of fail is also same. Number eight and eight is same. Do you think uh, the system did not degrade it? I'm not sure about that. I think uh, it's important to make the difference clear. So, part name of this core is passed, and uh, is the result is in both of tests same. Uh, what about in uh, performance point of view? To be honest, uh, I can not check the detail of the difference from those results. So I have used, uh, so I've used LTP1 test case in Fuego for making each result clear. Adding our important system call into specific JSON file like that. Uh, we can test uh, those Cisco with Fuego. Uh, this example shows how to add some Cisco related with shared memory as one of test specifications. This example shows how to add, uh, sorry, this, ex this example shows how to add specific test jobs but is added, added here, and uh, sorry, and RPI 381 is just a, just a bold name in my in my environment, and syscalls shared man attach zero one is important um, here, and this example shows how to run the jobs on my target. Uh, this is one of the results of LTP1 test uh, with, uh, I, I, with example which I just uh, introduced. Uh, shared mem attach Cisco test in LTP has four, four test cases and all tests were passed. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, however, each execution time has not been cleared yet. We can check build time, uh, build time trend on Jenkins interface if you click here. Uh, but uh, what, I, what we want to find out is a turnaround time of each Cisco, not, uh, not the build time. So this is, I introduce my approach. Uh, at the beginning, I thought it's better to do in a simple way. Fuego can execute a script on the target system this line is execute here, uh, executed on the target system. One, one test, one test, mean uh, test command of LTP related uh, to what I defined it. Uh, shared memory attached system call like that in Fuego. Uh, sorry, uh, I defined it in Fuego J specific JSON file, like a C shared memory attached system call. 
So I've modified the Fuego test script and inserted a blue line, especially a runtime logger script. Uh, the runtime logger script aims to record the execution time of syscalls in each test, each LTP test. In my idea to use the strace command, because strace has a feature to record time for from the beginning to the end of, of each syscall with option dash large g. After that, strace log can merge, uh, is merged into the test record which grep command, uh, with break command. Uh, this screenshot is a test record with using runtime logger. You can see that the execution time of each syscall was saved with uh, one microsecond accuracy. Here. Uh, getting off the point, uh, uh, but shared memory at a syscall was called five times totally in spite of four, four test patterns uh, because uh, this LTP test program has uh, used a shared memory for sharing a record log between a parent process and the child process. So shame attach called, uh, was called five times totally. So evaluation. Uh, I confirmed to check whatever my runtime logger uh, can show crew in test logs. I injected one second waiting code into the beginning of shared memory attach interface in the kernel. And I checked the uh, Fuego results if, uh, if one second delay is included or not. So here is the result. Uh, each result was passed here, as same as in default, default kernel. And the time difference compared with the result in default kernel were roughly one second each system calls. So I thought uh, we, uh, my runtime logger could uh, remain the system call, uh, each of system call time. So I'd like to summarize my session. Uh, Real-time application uh, need to satisfy timing constraints. In, term of, in terms of regression, this call time in new Linux will be shorter or as same as uh, old one. Uh, Fuego is useful to us for not only functional regression checking, uh, but also measuring to syscalls. Uh, future works. Uh, I want to see historical results as lying graph because of human friendly. I've already uh, discussed with Fuego community uh, what they think about my idea at Fuego Jamboree last month. Uh, Jamboree uh, is like a mini workshop. And currently, I've developed uh, it as a benchmark test. It, and I, I will commit it to the Fuego community in near futures. So thank you for listening. And if, you, if you, anyone has questions, I will do my best to answer it. Yes, please.
I'm sorry, I can could it? Yeah, I Uh, okay, I see. Uh, our products has a, a lot of uh, ha, ha, our products use uh, a, a very kind of uh, Linux. Of course, no normal Linux kernel or uh, RT, with RT patched, and so this idea can be adapted, both of them, I think so. Uh, can I answer your question? All right. Which one did you use, though? Eh? Which, which, so the kernel that you actually tested and got results from, was that a regular kernel or ah, an RT kernel? This, 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 this research is a regular kernel without RT patch. Yes, please. Yes, exactly. I'm interested in with uh, in same topics, and um, so let's discuss it after this session. Yeah. yeah. So, I've got a question. Yes, so, please. <laughs> So it's so difficult to combination with F trace and S trace, I think so. But uh, uh, so I couldn't. Uh, 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 okay, uh, I couldn't uh, uh, find the idea to do th that. So if you have any idea, <laughs> please. Well, Ah, I see so, yeah. I I will find him. Yes, please. Uh, Fuego is uh, connected with via SSH, and so, uh, and so just a moment. So Fuego uh, connect the target via SSH, and and Fuego build a test uh, program. Uh, with cross cross compiler and send this binary to target and execution with uh, SSH uh, command line and results and get result records to uh, send to host PC.
And any questions? Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, yes. So uh, based on Jenkins, um, it, does Quaver work more like a more like a plugin for Jenkins? Do you, do you, would you be expect to have Jenkins over and then run Quaver with it, or does Quaver just stand alone? So Quaver really has is we've been working hard over the last year to divide it into different parts. Yeah. So although you can drive Quaver from Jenkins, you can also run Thank you for answering uh, instead of me. Okay. And thank you for coming today. I think this session will be finished. Thank you.